Here for a Power Lunch exclusive, Tom Greco, President and CEO of Advanced Auto Parts. Mr. Greco, welcome. Good to have you with us, and we thank you very much for coming on on what is a tough day. It's easy to come on and talk when you got puppy dogs and, and, and rose petals to throw around. Uh, not that we want to throw around any puppy dogs, but uh, <laughs> the truth of the matter is it's uh, tough to come on on a tough day. We appreciate it. You said it yourself that you are disappointed in your company's relative performance to your peers and that you're going to take measured steps to improve it, uh, sales and performance. What are those steps and how fast will they gain traction? Well, first of all, uh, thanks for having me on, uh, Tyler. This was a difficult day for the company, but I appreciate you giving us the opportunity to talk about it. Um, we outlined our strategy about a year and a half ago to drive total shareholder return. Uh, in that discussion with our investors in April of 2021, uh, we said there were three key elements to the plan, uh, growing sales, expanding margins, and returning excess cash back to our shareholders. And we had a terrific year in 2021. We were able to accomplish all three of those goals. Uh, we finished in the top quartile. Uh, up until this quarter, we had nine consecutive quarters of sales growth and margin expansion. So we're very pleased that we had a strong year last year. And our strategy hasn't changed. We entered this year with the same plan. Uh, we're going to finish the year with expanded margins. Uh, we'll be one of very few retailers to accomplish that this year. Uh, we're going to return close to $900 million back to our shareholders. But we're very disappointed in our relative top line performance, as you indicated. And that's what we're taking action on right now to, to address as we head into 2023. So what are some of those measured deliberate actions that you referred to in, in your statement? What, what, what kinds of things are you going to do? What can a, what can a shareholder, a customer grab onto today? Sure. Well, the, the big analysis that we did over the last several months to assess the underperformance was really rooted in uh, inventory availability, which is so important for our business. You've got to have the right part in the right place at the right time. And we've been executing a strategy over the past several years to migrate our portfolio to own brands, which carry a much higher margin rate than national brands. And they're a differentiator for us. Unfortunately, we had a, a couple of big categories that we have executed against where we haven't been able to get uh, our on-hand rates to where they need to be. So mm -hmm. we're making a big investment in the fourth quarter in inventory uh, to shore that up. And we've worked very collaboratively with our suppliers. Uh, these are suppliers that uh, uh, have, have literally all over the world that have helped us uh, get this off the ground. And, and they're very optimistic, as are we, that the actions we're taking are result in accelerated growth next year in 2023. Uh, UBS this morning downgraded your stock and, and says that it's losing share uh, looking at, at, the, at the comp. Um, says, quote, given the impact of inflation, unit losses are much steeper, suggesting that it is losing customers at a rapid pace. This will be hard to reverse. Your reaction? Um, we, we don't really see losing customers as the biggest issue right now, Morgan. It's really about our average sales per customer. Uh, usually when, when an auto parts provider sells to a professional installer, you know, they always uh, choose from a number of different suppliers. So our, our opportunity is to make sure we drive more, more share of wallet, really, uh, with our professional installers. It's less about losing customers. Okay. Tom Greco, thanks for joining us. Thank you.